All right. This is a flower full moon for Capricorn. Um, this is going to happen May 23rd at 9.53 a.m. in Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius is the sign of gratitude in this position, romance, celebration, fairy magic, being at the right place at the right time, expansion, and miracles. So, a lot of fun. So we'll see what's happening for you, Capricorn. Uh, there's a few more cards. Uh, Alright. Let's see what's going on. So we have hills, obstacles to overcome. We have wishbone. Wish is granted. We have bird flying. News is on its way. We have butterfly, a change for the better. We have a rabbit. We have too much concern with sexual matters. We have a fan. We have a romance, celebration, party with the fan. We have grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. We have grapes. We have Time to go out and have some fun. We have chain. We have chain of events that will affect your life. We have a crib. We have birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. We have a star. We have guaranteed success. We have weeping willow. We have family sorrow. We have table. We have hard work ahead. All right. So uh, what deserves more of your compassion? We have hard work morals, um, time, limitations, morals again, and convictions. So I feel like there's just a lot of stuff going on. I just feel like it's either a trial that you're going through or it could be um, some legal business that you have to take care of. All right. Uh, so it's a lot. Um, it could also be just morals in general. Maybe you're changing your lifestyle. Okay, what part of yourself needs to expand? We have difficult choices. We have chakra meditation. So, um, I feel like you're going to have to make a lot of sacrifices and you might not know which sacrifice you should make, but I feel like you might need to get in to meditation and actually figure out what exactly your life needs at the moment. Does it need this, that, whatever? Or do you need to make a change? Do you need to move? Do you need to, you know, just get into a better headspace? It depends of who you are and what you're actually going through. It could be a bunch of things all at once that you kind of need to quiet the voices in your head or quiet your own ambition. Um, in order to get everything into kind of a list of things you need to do instead of a nagging thing like you have to do this, 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 and this, okay? And that can be very confusing and kind of make you seem um, unorganized, okay? Okay, where should you direct your energy? Um, having controlling people around you and a um, and a circulation of wealth could be halted um, your money could be tied up for some reason or another or you could have um, you could have a lot of wealth but you kind of don't know what to do with it it depends some people find wealth as a very like you know, um, stressful thing. Some people don't, you know, it depends of who you are as a person and if you have any financial pinches or restrictions at the moment, or you feel like you do. Like, you could have a, have like a ten of swords where you kind of feel like you're overcome by a lot of things that you have to deal with, which really it could be very small things you have to deal with. It depends. <laughs> Like, some people make mountains out of molehills, you never know. But I feel like you're going through, like, 
a lot of different things in your life. So it could be just like a lot of talk and a lot of um, trying to reconcile your differences of thought with yourself, really, and finding out what you need to do. Okay, we have, um, what is your true purpose for the cycle? We have glitches um, in the searches for love. I feel like your love life could be kind of lost in translation at the moment. Or you might not know exactly what you want at the moment. You could actually kind of be one of these people that is looking for answers, probably in the wrong places, or you're looking for answers within yourself, and it's not panning out the way you expected it would, or there's a lot of different things stopping your um, move forward, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's a lot. And you're going to have to figure that out. Like what exactly you need to change or what you need to do to move forward. Okay. Anyway, Capricorn, hopefully this helped you out. I know it's a little bit uh, oh, all over the place. But basically you're having difficulty moving forward. Which I find is ridiculous. Like you were moving forward fine a couple weeks ago. <laughs> the last full moon you were moving all over the place. But now it's kind of like you feel stagnant. Maybe you're going through like a depression or something. Or depression with money or whatever. Where you don't know where your money is or what to do with your money. It's kind of a weird scenario. There could also be limitations on your finances. But anyway, hopefully everything clears up. And I will see you in the next reading. Enjoy the full moon while it lasts. It doesn't last too long. And it does give you peace of mind a lot of times, all right? It might even give you inspiration to move forward. So I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourself, and I see you again on this channel. <laughs> this channel is weird, but um, yeah, I just feel like you need to clear up some budgeting finances or um, maybe your bank had a charge go through that wasn't yours and you had to clear that up and it might take a while. All right, so just think about that. All right, anyway, I'll see you later, Capcorn.